was saying, if we stick together, we can see it through. You mentioned Errol Garner. Who are some of the other guys that maybe influenced you? Oh well, I mean, your dad was the big major. My my dad, your dad, when I when I was studying with him through through um, high school and college, um, Bill Evans was another big influence of mine. Uh, mm -hmm. Keith Jarrett, a lot of pianists here. James James Booker was every time I was going to to, to Loyola in the morning, Oz would always play on the live wire. They would I would always be be uh, Booker's. Um, on the sunny side of the street, oh, so I mean, boy, yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> yeah, and that's so, a um, there. Um, you know, when I was when I was in college, I would always go hear Mike Polera and David Torkinowski, and Ed Frank was another huge mentor of mine. I'd go to ma the, ma the Maison Bourbon and see Mr. Frank play and stuff. Um, those are l local musicians, great, great ones. Um, and then I got into Earl Garner, I don't know, maybe 15 years or so ago, and. Mm -hmm. Um, Keith Jarrett, Chick Corea, Herbie Hancock. Okay, now um, are there different things that you learn from going to a live performance and both watching and listening as opposed to what you'll learn even from a video or from a CD? Of course. I mean, the, the CD is always going to be the same. I mean, it's, it's always going to be brilliant music and you can always access that. But, but I, I don't remember who are, I, I, I think it, it may have been Mr. Marcellus, somebody said, you know, live music is is you only hear that once. I mean, it's when you hear it live, you, that that everything, the vibe of the place, the 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 lighting, the sound, the musicians, what they're wearing, what they do, you know. I mean, it could be recorded and you could go hear it, but just the experience of hearing it live is is just a beautiful thing. And and you you may have said that on on the bandstand. I mean, it, it's it's true. It's you know, there's nothing better than, than hearing live musicians and. Um, Mm. Because that moment in time is 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 gone, right, you know, right. and uh, the recordings document some of those m moments in time. Um, but again, it's like there's so much more that that you're missing if you don't see an artist more than once or or all the time and stuff like that. And probably, so probably my dad said that one. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you got another one. Let's do what yeah. you have. Let's see. Um, Pull well, something out of the stacks. Do this, do this Beethoven piece of the joy. Oh, okay. Is that cool? Yeah. This okay. is from this is from the Ubuntu record, the spiritual record that I released a few months ago. Okay. And this is uh, this is um, Beethoven's Ode to Joy, done in a different way, and it and incorporates okay. Bach and classical music and Symphony Number no. Nine. <laughs> Take it away. <laughs> Joyful we adore the God of glory, Lord of love. Hearts and full like flowers before they praise thee, their son above. All thy works with joy surround the earth and heaven. Reflect thy rays, stars and angels sing around the center of unbroken praise. Melt the clouds of sin and sadness, and drive the dark of doubt.
Thou art Father Christ, our brother. Melt the clouds of sin and sadness. Ever singing, march we onward. Father Christ, our brother, all who live in love, oh, all Teach us how to love each other, oh, lift us to the joy. How did you come up with the idea to mix both the, the Bach and Beethoven and the other? Man, if I could answer that, I mean, I, it's so, um, it's a, a spiritual question or inspirational question. I mean, I, I mean, um, I, a lot of times, I mean, I'm, I'm very trained and very educated and very, but like to, to, to that, that stuff just kind of, kind of this, a gift or a blessing that I that that I'm. Uh, um, sometimes it's just a matter of just the mute. The, the if you saw my house, the music scattered all all around my piano in my studio. Mm. And um, sometimes it's a matter of I'm working on a piece and then I just look and, and grab this piece and there's there's the music. It's like as if it's just just given given it's to me. It's just waiting. It's just waiting. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And so um, uh, this this piece was actually. Um, Written a, a dear friend of mine was was uh, that I travel on the road was on the road Phantom of the Opera this Broadway traveling show for four years and and uh, and uh, after that she and her husband moved to to tech they were in Texas and we were in New Orleans and and uh, after Katrina they housed us after when when Katrina happened we stayed in their house and she got sick and she she called me up and she said. Uh, I'm dying of brain cancer, and, and would you, you and uh, Lauren, my, my ex-wife, would you guys play at, at my funeral? And, and I'm like, wow. And, and I said, what, what's your, what's your, what do you want? What do you want? She says, I, she said, my favorite piece is Beethoven's Ode to Joy. And so, um, so I, I, you know, I was honored and just, just stunned and, and just, just. Um, you know, but but the moment I sat down with with that that hymnal with 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 joyful joyful, and and that piece, I mean this this just flowed out and um, so I sang this sang to Jennifer's, cel they called it her celebration of life and and um, and uh, um, it that that experience of seeing that. Uh, Passage of life and and the renewal of with the, the, her family still there, her three kids and husband and and uh, the the gift of being allowed to to perform music at her funeral and stuff like that and and to, to her family and and to my family um, was was an amazing experience and it kind of kind of redirected my my path a lot. I mean, I was working in in the churches in Houston and and, um, and then I started realizing a purpose and and how music is healing and. Uh, mm. Uh, and for for myself, and also to to people that 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 are willing to accept it and listen to it, and 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 to digest it, and 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 everything. And so, um, 
so yeah, I, I, I composed this whole whole funeral service for for my friend, for our friend, and um, and then that led me to to the the Ubuntu CD and the, the spiritual way of, of music and re, redoing hymns and stuff like that. In fact, can I, can I talk about the the show this Sunday? Oh Is yeah, that cool. Okay, sure. And that's this part of it. It's a, it's called the celebration of healing on March. March seventeenth, which is uh, which is St. Patrick's evening, okay. and um, <clears throat> and it's going to feature um, Kim Prevost and Evan Christopher and mm. um, Bill Solly and and uh, Bobby Campo and uh, made the the New Orleans Jazz Revival Band, the full band, Six Horns and and um, uh, Chuck Perkins is going to. We have special special guests uh, that are. I'm calling. They're special healers, and one is Chuck Perkins. He's going to do poetry. Norman Nail is going to do healing and, mas and masseuse, and and um, talk about the healing aspects of water. And um, uh, where will this be? This will be at Cafe Istanbul, which is on Saint Claude, where the old Universal Furniture is, in, inside okay. the New Orleans Healing Center. Okay. And um, this and is at, time? It's, at, it's at 8.30 uh -huh. at night, and uh, we hope people come. It's, uh, it's basically happy music and positive music, and it's not, it's not a religious service. I mean, it's a spiritual service, and so uh, there's going to be tunes like Ode to Joy, but then there'll also be like Bobby McFerrin's Don't Worry, Be Happy, and mm. just stuff that has, has good vibes, and it's, it's all a positive message and stuff, and I'm inviting. I know it's kind of late on a Sunday night at 8.30, but... We have a very, a very, very special guest. His name is Dan Caro, and he's a he's a drummer originally from here. And and Dan is um, an amazing musician. I've been working with him all week, and uh, we've kind of partnered up as a as a team. But 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 Dan, when he was two years old, he was horrifically burned in a in a fire, and and um, um, altered his his life, of course. And I mean, he lost lost his hands and and some of his toes, and mm -hmm. and um, he's gone through. Many, many, many surgeries and stuff. Okay, but, but you'll be there Sunday but night. But actually, Dan Dan has figured out a way to play drums with with rubber bands on his wrist, and he is he's an amazing drummer, and he has a great message too. To, to uh, we got to wrap yeah, it up. Yeah. Okay, man. Thank you for coming thank out, you, Matt thank Limler. You. We're gonna see you on Sunday. Yeah. Right. Come on by. Eight thirty. Eight thirty at Cafe. Until the next time, I'm Delphi Marcellus. We'll catch you later. Yeah, you're right.